Limelight Show. It's your girl Cutie Pie here with DJ Twist. And today we have all the hot stuff that you won't find anywhere else. Nowhere else. Uh huh. It's called urban entertainment. The urban kind. And we have it all here on the Limelight Show just for you. Yeah. On this week's show we have. That song didn't just pop off on the radio. Someone worked that for them. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like the same people that the record label was hired. That's who his management hired. You know what I mean? So he didn't just the song didn't just you know pop up on the song. Like you know it was definitely worked. You know what I mean? Yeah, other people on the underground are still working it. Whether, right. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Whether people see yeah. you coming it's or going or not, the it's major still labels, people they hire independent people radio. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you know his management. That's basically what they did. Yeah. Hire independent yeah. promoter. That's what I tell people, like, like I, I am a consultant for an artist, and it's like, you know, they don't pick up every song that we send them. Like, right. honestly, it's, it, I'm sure they test it before they just play it on the radio, right. you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's not, you don't, you're not going to play everything, every DJ yeah, is going to play everything. Radio, radio is, is, is in the business of advertisement. Yeah, that's what I try yeah. to explain right. to them. Right. Right. It's not in the business of advertisement. Right. 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 So, right. Records that they're familiar with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. They're not familiar with the yes. record, they're going to turn to the station. And now, the PD from that station is wondering why more people listen to that station mm -hmm. than theirs. And it's, you know. Yeah, it's you know. a business. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we need to wait for this? Uh, go ahead. Okay. All right, well. We can cut in between. So, you can finish chewing that and then you can pick your question. <laughs> answer. You know what I'm saying? Just tell me which one you want to answer. Ask your question, answer, and then we, you know, we can cut it in between. Whatever. Are you trying to make? Okay. All right. Um, you just want me to go down? Yeah. Because I don't know. The only thing I know is the shows. I don't know. Okay. Okay. What do you want to answer? You know, there's different ones, but it's not a lot. Yeah. Okay. So I see that question. Well then, her questions. Well then, what it, what inspires you? Like, okay, so it's Duran. Yes. Yeah. Why? Like, yeah. what inspires you to inspire the art, people to come into this? The art it's, it's, we know it's a dog dog world. It's like a yeah. love hate. Well, anything, any, any business, like anything corporate, any streets, whatever, everything is a dog dog world. So, yeah. you know, I mean, it's just my passion for music <laughs> and love. I'm so in love with the creative. <laughs> And just being in the studio with him night after night and watching him create and create and create. Oh, yeah. and that's how I feel in love with the creative process and I learned a lot. So I just uh, I, I took that out and I started doing that with record labels, just consulting and putting together a record for such and such. And that's how I got into that. And when you're looking for new talent, like, what are you looking and listening for? Like, the first thing I look for is, like, the hit facts, right? Like, you know, like, I, when I listen to the music, what I look for is, um, you know, just something special. It's something that, like, cause music is supposed to derive some kind of emotion. And if I listen to your stuff, I don't need any kind of emotion out of me, it doesn't work. And probably wouldn't do anything for anybody else. Right, exactly. It's not a door on time. Yeah, so, um, so that's what I look for, you know, something that, is, that moves me, and after that, when I'm with an artist, it just has to be someone that, you know, has that, what we call the it factor, right? It's just, you know, they come in the room, they light it up, and it makes you, you know, kind of want to, who is that? Right, so that, that, right, so that, 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 that's what, you know, that's what I look for. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, based on the talent that you saw today, did you need or see the talent that you saw? Yeah, Audra. Audra. Audra, I want to see Audra. Um, because it is the whole, like, you have to have the stage presence, you have to have the talent, you have to have, I mean, just the it. I yeah, know what right, you're right, saying when you right, say you have to have the and it. Right, right. It's more than just being able to write a song and being able to put the lyrics down, 
because you still have to have the flow exactly. and all that stuff. Everything has a time. Yeah. That's either you got it or, or you don't. don't. And it's similar to that. Simple. Right. Yeah. And some people you can hurt it a little bit, but the bottom line is yeah. just yeah. That's why she had problems. You got to have to do it. Right. So when you, um, when you find time to surf online, <laughs> what do you look for and, and, and where do you look online like from? Um, uh, uh, like I'm on, I'm on Twitter, I'm on uh, MySpace, uh, Facebook, um, I'm on this one website where it's, it's like it's called like the A&R Hookup where artists uh, you know are requesting me and stuff like that. So that you know I'm at different showcases um, all throughout that way. Like, yeah, like I'm, I'm I'm always like I mean I I I feel like how I'm gonna be successful is I I want to be accessible to people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because like a lot of A and R's, like they hire right. offices and right. they can't get. With me, I'm That's accessible. You know what I'm saying? Like, Accessibility yeah. is where it's at because right. a lot of times, uh, that's the main problem with artists. Right. Artists say, say, you know, I'm trying to get out there. I, I want to get somebody something, but I don't know who to give it yeah. to. I don't know yeah. how to get it to them. Yeah. Or I call their number and they tell me they have right. profiles like no one. Right. 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 That's crazy. Yeah. You just, what? I'm like, are you really hurt? Like, I just want to ask a question <laughs> right. or anything. I just want to know, do you want to be bothered or not? <laughs> not right? Because right. right. if you have somebody that doesn't want to do, to represent an artist, yeah, that's what's the point. Right. Like, right. the person in your position, as a man, I was like, okay, I understand you're busy. You have an assistant. We right. have somebody, somebody that I can, can talk to, you know, want you to maybe yeah. get some of your time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's definitely like, like I said, it's like, um, you know, like, like the meaning of success is, you know, when the preparation meets opportunity, right? So, like, I feel like I'm prepared. So, once that opportunity shows up, which might be that next artist, like, I, you know, I want to make myself accessible to that. And that's why, like, I'm always out, like, just to make myself available. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, that, and that's and that's how I feel like I'm, you know, be successful in this business, just by making myself accessible. As long as, you know, doing, the, you know, the, a lot of the ground. Would you have a question? And if you do a show, like, how would you like to receive? Would you like prefer for an artist to go to a CD or, you know, like a or representation or how would you like, you know, like when, when I'm out of town, the CD is cool because when I'm on a plane, you know, I, I load it up in laptop, it's cool, but if I'm in Atlanta, I would prefer emails because that's the first thing I'm going to do, you know, pull up my Gmail, I'm just going through everything, so that's the best way, just through email, but when I'm out of town, yeah, my email is on atlsurge at gmail.com. A-T-L-S-E-R-G-E at gmail.com. Drive safe. And you heard it first here on the line. Like, real the talk. Line. Real talk here on the line. Like, we're sitting here with Sarah Zelena Records. We want to get some real information. Mm -hmm. Out of all the people you talk to, mm -hmm. hundreds of people have come to you for A&R and this 